Hey guys, this is Exodus Gear, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up Miner for Litecoin mining. Now, for some of those who aren't familiar with Miner, it is a CPU miner and not a GPU miner. Uh, GPUs, your graphics card CPUs, mainly your processor. Now, if you're barely getting into this, this is actually going to be one of the more simpler videos. Uh, go ahead and start by going to mine-litecoin.com. Go over to the left-hand side to the Getting Started and go ahead and install whatever um, Litecoin client you may need whether it be for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Once you're done downloading that, go ahead and run it and let it update to the latest block. It'll roughly take about, I want to say an hour. Shouldn't take too long though. Now after you're done downloading all this, you're going to want to of course set up your first worker. Go over to the left hand side again to account settings down to minor configuration and in minor configuration we've already got three workers but we'll go ahead and delete one and we'll do an example real quick we'll go ahead and recreate x3 simply put x3 right here password's going to be x for those of you worrying if somebody's going to use your username or password or anything like that um, don't really worry about your worker name and password if somebody uses that all they'll be doing is actually mining for you the only username and password that you really need to worry about would be the one for the site right here. All right. Now that you have your worker set up, go ahead and go over to the server details. And the reason for this is uh, depending on what country you're in, you may want to use a different server. I will go ahead and be using the American server right here. All right. Go ahead and copy that. And again, if you're using a different or if you're in a different country, go ahead and grab whatever link is closest to you. We'll go back to getting started again. Alright, now that we've got that set up, go ahead and download Miner depending on again what system you're using, Windows, Linux, Mac. I'm using Windows and I've already downloaded mine. I already have all that set up. So once it's done downloading, you can go ahead and extract it to whatever folder you want to. I've got mine set up in the Minerd folder. And for those Windows users out there, the first thing that you want to do is actually you want to hit Alt, go to Tools, go to Folder Options, go to View, and right here where it says Hide Extensions for Known File Types, you want to uncheck that. And the reason for that is we're going to go ahead and create a text document. So go ahead and create a new text document. All right. And you can name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter, you can leave it a new text document the way it is. But go ahead and open it up. Now the good thing is you can come back to the minelightcoin.com site and be come right down here. You can get your little command line that will connect Miner to, to the server. So go ahead and just copy that, again I'll be using the American one. All right. Go ahead and hit paste. Now in the username, of course, uh, go ahead and replace the username with uh, with your username. So Exodus. Oh, if I can spell my own username. And then period. And then the worker name, which was X2, and the password is X. All right. So then, whenever you go to save. Be sure to save as, be sure to erase TXT at the very end, and you're going to want to replace it with BAT, just like the little flying creatures. We'll just name it, whatever, litecoin.bat. Alright, and if we go back, we can actually see that it already created the bat file right up here. Now we'll go ahead and let it run real quick, just to show everybody that it does work. And if you happen to run across any problems or any errors, anything like that, uh, oh, there we go, it's already running, it's running at a horrible hash rate, but it's running. Uh, again, if you, if you run across any problems, you can always go back to the minelightcoin.com site, and in the left-hand side, there is a live web chat where you can go ahead and hop in, and uh, the people inside, you know, as long as you ask them politely, they will be more than happy to help you and get you set up with any, any problems that you may have. Let's go and go back to this real quick. 
All right, so it is running. Um, I doubt I'll, I'll get anything considering I've got 1K hash, which is even worse than my NVIDIA card. So, yeah, that's, that's not really good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's really that simple, guys. Um, if you, again, if you need any help or anything, let us know. And hopefully this helped you get everything set up without any kind of problems. Enjoy.